Okay guys, uh, I had to do a voiceover because the compressor was so loud. Um, this is a Harbor Freight propane torch. We're going to modify to do a injected air, compressed air um, burner. Yeah, it's been a long day guys. Um, okay, right here I'm talking about the tube. It's an aluminum tube underneath the, the um, heat shrink on the thing. Pull out the, the piezoelectric uh, ignition. This is the model that you want. Pull out the ignition, save that tube. Flip the tube over and put this end into where the piezoelectric sparker came from. And there's a little set screw. Um, I've just... Uh, taped in place for now for a uh, proof concept keep the can you'll need it okay um, tape that to it uh, I will figure out some way probably some sort of clamp or something uh, that will clamp everything together and you know hold everything together but um, under this uh, heat shrink is that aluminum tube and you can see the wire for the piezoelectric First thing you'll notice is that thing melts. It gets hot. It melts, uh, shorts out, doesn't work anymore. So um, I'm probably going to reuse the clamp from the button there uh, as part of mounting. Okay, and we will so we'll see that uh, over here. Um, there's a uh, spike, uh, nice and cold, and. Uh, there's the aluminum tube and then a cheap Harbor Freight with a skinny uh, fits kind of inside. I'm going to probably uh, use pipe dope and seal that and then uh, adhere it with uh, JB Weld or something to make it permanent. Um, and then make clamps where all this is. I'm using um, a, a welding sparker to ignite the torch because we took out the igniter and uh, just turn it up just a little bit and there we go okay now this is just the propane from the uh, can by itself it's um, does really good actually we'll get that to almost welding temperature but not quite you know so um, it works uh, good really good for uh, burning weeds as it's the original uh, design but uh, we're just gonna modify this a little bit and make it work so much better okay there I cranked up the propane and still right now we are still propane a lot of yellow flame blue flame down to the bottom hits the brick turns yellow cools it off okay and it's hitting that uh, spike down there I'm just warming the tip but it does uh, is pretty slow takes a while for it to do it now um, just trying to get it focused in here now uh, had a little problem with it at first here thought it was the thing but my uh, blew the circuit breaker um, using too much on one line a welder and a compressor and I didn't realize it so um, I had to take a break and You'll see the cut anyway. I uh, had to take a break, fix it, and there. So it took about oh, a minute or two to just get that much heated on the regular propane. Because uh, again, the compressor was you know out of air. So, um, all right. I thought it just turned off. Okay, now I'm obviously blocking something here. So sorry about the hand. Uh, change grips and still waiting and I testing the oxygen and everything and, or the compressed air all right yep it's still not that chair there's the difference there okay you saw it go bright and now that's just doing uh, doing a number kind of speaks for itself now this thing is freaking loud and then I got the compressor going 
Okay. Um, yeah, it, it really is blown. It, it really um, kicks that flame to almost invisible coming out the top of it instead of all that yellow flame. And you can see it's just really heating it up pretty quick. Okay, right now I'm going to just uh, prop up the uh, camera. That's what it looks like when it's running on just propane because I'm not pulling the trigger. I did leave it where I have to pull the trigger. I thought that was the safest. But I'm propping it up and we're going to pull a spike here in just a minute. Once I figure out how to prop it up, that is. There we go. So right now I'm holding the uh, trigger on the compressed air. And if this was the original audio, you would it'd just be a roar. You know, we don't want to have to deal with that. Okay, should be coming out now. Just sitting there waiting for it to get red hot and then white hot. Almost almost to sparking, not quite. Um, it takes me a little bit to get everything out of the forge because I turn off the heat so it doesn't come out super, you know, super hot. But it comes out way hot enough for doing what we're doing. Which is uh, forging an knife out of a uh, railroad spike. I do heat it more often than you would on a coal forge for some reason. Or people just don't show it. Now, we, we're a nice dull red at the... The whole thing's hot, but we got that tip just working right now, so... Yeah, forging down that uh, spike, working the knife point, thinning it out. It's going to be a karambit style. Uh, blade. Uh, probably going to drift a one inch ring just under the uh, head of the railroad spike so you still tell it's a railroad spike. I'm also going to sand level the stump there um, and leg bolt it in. Uh, level it out and everything but this is just thrown together today to uh, show people. Obviously I just dropped it. That was uh, comedic effect that's what it was yeah that's a ticket okay straighten it up a little bit yep all right so we'll set that down in the uh, hardy hole and it can sit there and cool Really hope this helps some guys. Uh, it's inexpensive, it works. Um, I'll do a little video when it's all done. And I hope guys, uh, like I'm saying here, just hope everybody got some help out of this. And that thing's still low.